previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! I have to stay with my family. Go. I'll hold him off. I said go. Hey. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. Just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. <sighs> I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay, maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought, this one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. face okay so you recognized him that's no reason to let it kill you and it was going to kill you I know I know you're right I don't even know what to call them 
if they're not people. If they're just the dead. <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? We stay, somebody's going to get hurt, or worse. You really think the kids are gonna be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid. Every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now. While we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about... You guys go and I stay here. You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? She said, because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew, but it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean, he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started, okay? What are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. Just tell him we love him, all of us. And nothing's gonna change that, not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I can't fucking believe this. It's... I mean, it's you. Couldn't have said it better myself. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? He said we had to kneel. I couldn't hold on to her. The fuck you trying to prove, Max? They're outsiders, David. It's what we do with everybody. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hobby. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go. you in it. I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly, it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... That's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. That's crazy. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. If you want to hear me say he's an asshole, fine. He's the biggest asshole I know. 
question is, is he a big enough asshole to go along with some of the shit they've done? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip. Just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? Mariana saw things that other people didn't. She, uh... She told me she wanted to write down her memories to keep them alive after she was gone. Sounds like her. Always was a dreamer. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? went down out there. I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. They ambushed us in a junkyard, just 
unloaded on us. They chased us back to this town, Prescott. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? My brother talked about me. All the time at the start. All good, I hope. I think you know the answer to that. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. It doesn't matter now. We found each other in the end. It matters to me. My mom and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. The day Dad died, I promised I'd stick around, be there for the family. Well, came my word. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi! Noodles in a cup! We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I'm a lot better seeing you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. You're a lucky man, David. We're all lucky. Uh, oh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, 
Promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. <sighs> Suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. 
Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max, what are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. I don't have a problem with him. He's all right by me. Yeah, same here. I don't buy it. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? We were on the run from a herd. We just needed a single can. Everyone needs gas, asshole. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. You cold cocked me with your pistol. I woke up in a truck with cable ties on my wrists. That don't make it right. Rufus was bringing you here. We wasn't gonna hurt you. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you... You're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. This is ridiculous. You have to do something. I... I can't right now. But maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay?
You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk! Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't gonna help Eleanor. Don't make it worse for her. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? Looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find North, we need to find the North Star. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Javi. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this?
more careful with this. We're even now. David, that asshole's still around, or? Sam. You can't trust him, Javi. But it says you can trust us. You belong. They don't care about their people. We're gonna let him die. Clam. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. <sighs> Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. I have to try. to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh, see? It's not so bad. <laughs> AJ! Shh! What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? What, did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. 
Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. Then it was worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Without a goddamn thought for anyone else. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. This was about his survival, so don't you dare judge me. It's always about survival. We have a better chance of it with you gone. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. <gasps> I love you, Goofball. I love you. Come on, Clem. AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. Clem, I'm so sorry. My little goofball. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Then push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Here they come. I can. Fuck! Uh, I can raise it a little, but I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. I don't hear anything in there. Good enough for me. Come on, man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. <laughs> Pick up the pace, Harvey! 
Well, there's a car. With no wheels. Shit! God damn it! We can use that floor jack to lift up the garage door. The handle's missing. Close. Hopefully that door holds him. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in! <gasps> Don't make me do this! Clem. Don't do it, Javi! You were a good man. We need to barricade the door. Did you let him turn? Tell me! Answer her question. Now. We didn't have to worry about that. What the hell does that mean? He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying, Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I don't know, Clem. I don't think he'd lie about this. You don't know him like I do. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Fine. Take care of them. It's about time you stepped up. You got some nerve. <laughs> Shit! Board it up. <laughs> we need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me!
Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Come on, David, don't play dumb. What are you suggesting? That I was part of looting Prescott? You must have known something. You think I condoned this? This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Who the fuck are you? Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... <laughs> <laughs> Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! Shove that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. If I'd have known you were David's brother, 
I'd have shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Took my goddamn guts out. I'm, I'm, fuck. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <laughs> Not anymore. Fuck her, and fuck you too. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. That's enough, man. He's gone. For God's sake, Hobby! Get a goddamn hold of yourself! Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. Hey man, back the fuck off. I don't need a lecture from you. You need it from someone. You don't want to become the thing you hate. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about you. 
You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Of course, David. You're my brother. I never forgot that. Even if you did. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. You and I... We should talk. When this is done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. This will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Huh? I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? <laughs> That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horseshit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. Gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, player. we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Ugh. 
the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi! Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go! Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. It's David's fight, Kate, and we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah, me too. We need to go, okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. 
We're in the thick of it, Kate. If he thrives in this shit, that only improves our chances. Just because he likes it doesn't mean he's good at it. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Holy shit. Well, come on, let's go. They'll be safe here. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. It's over, Joan. You can stop your posturing. Posturing? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Really? Joan, is this true? Do... do I really need to answer that? That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max... What do you have to say? Start talking right now, unless you want to follow your friend. Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. John, how could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter, how much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close, so close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell? Put 
them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me. That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. 